What up, boys? Welcome to the stream. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be playing Ark Survival Evolved. We're going to be building a warship. Um, first things first, probably the most important part. Uh, under your settings, before you get in game, you're going to want to scroll all the way down. And it's going to be the uh, increased platform structure limit. Make sure that that is maxed out. Once you set that, we're, uh, we're, good, to, we're good to go. All right. So first things first, you're going to want to start off with the motorboat. We're going to be placing some metal foundations on top of it. Now, I normally like to line up the foundation where it kind of overhangs the uh, edge of the motorboat. Just about that just about that much. And then I like to line up the actual base with those uh, the, the bolts or the little circles on the actual motorboat itself. So something like that and yeah that looks to be good once that's placed we're gonna need to sink the foundations into the actual boat itself uh, in order to do that you're gonna place a metal pillar on top of that and then it should sink at some point sometimes it's difficult but this one's gonna be a pain hard part is out of the way now. So we're going to place a couple more foundations to where it's kind of going with the uh, the boat itself. And with that, we're going to place metal ceilings on top of those foundations, just like that. Now we're going to take the metal ceilings, we're going to extend it out uh, by two, and we're going to place more foundations underneath that. Once those are placed, uh, we're going to take the metal triangle ceilings. And we're going to form a point at the front end of the boat. And then with that, we're going to place the triangular, triangular foundations underneath those. Now we're going to jump to the back of the ship. We're going to extend this uh, five ceilings uh, back. In order to do so, you got to go two at a time. So we're going to go two there. We're going to place our foundations under those ceilings. We're going to go another two. We're going to place more foundations. We're going to go one more line and we're going to place more foundations. Once those are placed, we're going to use the metal triangle ceilings and instead of forming a point at this point, it's going to be more, more rounded like that. And once more, we're going to be placing the triangle foundations underneath. So now you have a base for your ship that looks something similar to that this point we're actually going to go we're going to change up these uh, foundations we're actually going to switch them to uh, the blocks and we're going to do that all the way around the boat At this point, we're going to be taking a metal, the single door frame, and we're going to be placing one here and one here. This should be at the front of your boat to where you actually have two ceiling uh, pieces in front of that. And we're going to take 
metal walls. We're going to place one right behind that. And then another metal wall, you can either place one here or here, whatever your preference, we'll just place it there. And uh, we'll place another uh, door frame right there. Now we're going to skip one. We're going to place another door frame right there. And then we're going to skip two, one, two. We're going to place another door frame right there. All right. I'm going to take some walls, place a metal wall here, and a metal wall here. I'm going to take a door frame, place the door frame here, place another door frame there. And then we're going to take a metal double door frame. We're going to place that there and there. Now we're going to jump to the front of the ship. We're going to want to take a metal hatch frame. Normally I just place that above the door. And we're going to take metal ceilings. We'll just fill that in. Now once those are placed, we're going to take metal triangle ceilings. We're just going to kind of round it off like that. We're going to place another metal door frame. We're going to connect that to uh, this triangle ceiling up front. And we're going to take a metal wall and we're going to fill these two sections in. All right, so now we're going to take uh, metal railings and we're just going to go around the outside of the ship. Now for the second level, we're going to take metal double door frames and we're going to put three of them right here connected to the metal triangular ceiling. And from the side, we're going to take the metal window frames, Let's get that. we're going to place one above that door frame. And we're going to place another window frame above that door frame. We're going to take another metal door. We're just going to place it branching off there. And we're going to take a wall. So at this point, you should have something that looks similar to this. Now we're going to take a metal ceiling. We're just going to kind of fill in this top part. And, uh, that's close enough. We're going to take more metal railings. We're going to fill in this back balcony piece. And we're going to place some all the way around up here. Now at this point we're going to be taking a metal uh, fence foundation and we're going to be lining it up where it's center between these two uh, metal ceilings. And you just got to get it just right. Eh, that's not right, but that'll work for the stream. And then down below we're going to be placing two metal walls and they're going to be branched off of both of uh, the hatch frame and the floor. Uh, if you place the foundation in the middle, like I was originally trying to do, th these walls will actually cover up uh, these uh, metal pieces. And the reason that we place the foundation, uh, the fence foundation there, is that we can actually now use a metal pillar and connect it to that point. And we're going to sink that all the way down to uh, the base of the boat. Now from here, we're going to place 
another metal ceiling. And we're going to connect two catwalks branching off from each side. Something like that. Now we're going to take a flag. And I normally like to use a single panel flag, but whatever you guys prefer. And you're going to want to place this right in the middle of the actual uh, metal ceiling. I don't think that's... Well, that'll be close enough. Once you place the flag, then you can connect the final uh, metal pillar to where the flag kind of blends in with it. Now, for back here, we're going to use the giant metal hatch frame. We're just going to place that on top of that, and we're going to fill that in with the actual uh, the hatch door or the trap door. Now, with all these open pieces, you're going to want to fill in all the windows, the double doors, and the doors. Now here, you're going to want to connect the ladder to the hatch frame. And at this point, we're almost finished. We're going to be taking these rocket turrets. You're going to want to place one up front. Normally, I, like, I try to get it to where it's just touching the, uh, the fences. Something like that. So we're going to place one there, and we're going to place one in the back. And now the final bit, we're just going to be painting some of the doors, the flag, and the underneath of the boat. First off, whatever uh, banner you want to fly. And then for here, these three double doors up top, we're going to be painting these. It's just going to be region six. We're going to be painting these black. And the reason that we're doing that, it gives it the uh, appearance that there are actual windows to uh, the bridge of the ship. So we're going to paint those black. And then we're going to paint these side ones black as well. We're going to paint that double door and the single door there. We're going to jump around to the other side. We're going to paint that black and this one black. Uh, the rest of the doors we're going to leave. Uh, we're going to leave them. We're not going to paint those at all. Uh, the final part of the build, uh, we're going to paint the underneath the ship red. And once you spray paint the underneath of the ship, that pretty much completes the build.